By watching this video, you will learn how a science student can also offer French, how a business student can also offer elective chemistry. Now, this is a video showing you the senior high school subjects combinations for SHS, for the senior technical schools, and then for the STEM schools as well. Students will have to choose from nine learning areas. So we have general arts, we have science, STEM, applied technology, home economics, business studies, agriculture, arts, and then languages. So the new thing I'm seeing here is the languages and then arts. For business studies, you already call it business. And then the STEM as well. Alright. So the for the first um, side we have the choice of learning areas depend on the school's capacities strength and focus areas so it means everything we are going to look at in this presentation depends on these school's capacity strength and the focus areas so the second part says learners will graduate with a minimum of seven subjects four core and then three electives and the maximum of nine subjects so if a student thinks he or she can handle nine subjects and do excellently well in them why not so if you're a student and then you assess your strength and you know that you can't just stick to the seven now learners will graduate with a minimum of seven subjects and three electives and a maximum of nine subjects to be externally assessed through WASI providing a clear benchmark for academic achievement so the body that is always responsible for certain questions for pre-tertiary students like you're going to test them with the WASI parents can choose to study extra subjects for one or two years instead of the full three years these subjects will be assessed in school and the results will be included in the transcripts for tertiary admissions so it means that these um extra subjects that the student is going to um study aside the seven will have transcripts added for tertiary admissions so looking at the side learners have much more freedom than is currently the case to combine different subjects around their chosen areas this provides learners with more flexible options to pursue different career options at the tertiary level. So a student who is doing art can pursue a course in science. Now, the other thing over here is that the Ministry of Education recognizes that the precise number of subjects combination a school can offer depends on its teachers, facilities, and then focus areas. As such, it is up to the individual schools to make up the guidance work for them based on their unique situation. So this simply means that even though um, all of these subjects you are going to look at are available, it's dependent on the school. It's dependent on the school. So it's only when a student gets to the school before he or she can know that, okay, I can add French to the science electives I'm studying. Schools are empowered to make decisions regarding specific electives, such as making them compulsory for year one only year one and two or the full duration of the program for instance a student with a strong tradition and track record in agriculture can choose to make it mandatory subject for year one learners or the entire program so a student who is doing general arts if the school chooses to make agriculture part of the full program the student has no option but to, to do it so it's based on the school so the school's preference similarly if the school has a strong tradition in business studies or sufficient teachers to make a language compulsory they are free to do so so it means that you can go to a school and they just choose to make french compulsory for all the courses but they are doing languages art stem apply technology so this is where we go in detail let me zoom it for you so for the first part it says that to ensure flexibility, certain subjects under previous programs, such as home economics, business studies, have emerged into one, one or two subjects. For example, home economics now covers management in living, clothing and textiles, food and nutrition as major strands. Business studies is a single combined subject, 
in year one and then year two and three it is divided into business management and then accounting students will now be able to combine home economics or business studies with other subject combinations which was not possible before subjects under the visual arts program have emerged to form distinct subjects art and design studio and art and design foundation art and design studio covers painting textiles ceramic sculpture and graphic design while art and design foundation focuses on fundamental principles of drawing art and design applied technology covers applied technology applied technology covers automotive technology building construction technology electrical and electronics technology metal technology wood technology design and communications technology technical drawing equips students with essential skills knowledge and competencies applicable to applied technology arts and design home economics and engineering this subject encompasses conceptual drawing including freehand sketches graphic communications and extended drawing all these aspects will be covered in year one and then is then have the opportunity to specialize in year two and three so take note that all of this has to do with the school's abilities and then facilities and there's what you call intervention subjects now these intervention subjects include mathematics and then english so students who are not very good at english and mathematics can um go in for extra support and then do intervention english and inter intervention mathematics to boost their proficiency so here are the main core subjects and this one here fiscal education is not um examinable i've not heard that wike actually examines students on that now this group b or school designated core they are electives which individuals can choose to make call if they wish so aside this aside this call a student can choose to make any of these call and then you know add to the call and don't forget it has to do with the school the group see here are additional electives now let's go into details so for the first so as a science student these are your main core subjects so a science student does not have integrated science as part of his core subject so if a science student chooses that okay there's robotics here i want to make robotics i want to add robotics to my core subject why not so a science student is no more doing integrated science as you did in the junior high school okay so now let's look at the group b so group b each learner must do a minimum of two or four you must do a minimum of two or four a minimum of two and a maximum of four of these subjects now afterwards you can come to the group c and then choose one or two so the group c and then the group d are courses that are not related to the science at all so there's much flexibility here for the science student so this is for the general student so you realize that with general student they have general science as part of their course subject integrated science that's what we call it in the, the, the school so they have four core so science students are doing three core and they can add one so with the general arts each learner must do a minimum of two a maximum of four of this so if you are doing a maximum of four it means you have eight you can only add one so if you do three you can add one from the group c you can also add one from the group d this has to do with your school so make sure any subject combinations you pick you go to your head of academics to see if any changes or if it's allowed if he or she tells you it's not allowed don't try it because you'll, you'll be in trouble at the final year or during exam so here comes the business students as well so business students are also doing four core subjects and it says in year one all students must do business studies in year two and three all students must do business management and accounting between year one and year two 
you can do the following you can either do elective mass or add mass ist and then economics so it means with the group b you are doing minimum of three and maximum of five for the business student now looking at the group c you either choose one or two then so it means that a business student has an opportunity to choose a science course as i always say it depends on your school in addition learners who have been identified as needing support for the initial english and mathematics assessment are required to offer both intervention english and intervention mathematics these will have to be taken instead of the two electives so when you pick to do intervention english and intervention mathematics you are not going to pick extra electives now here goes applied technology for the, those who are doing the technical four core subjects as well and if you choose to do the intervention mass in english you can't choose extra electives so you are doing a minimum of two and a maximum of four subjects so each learner must do design and communication technology then one of the following then plus one or two of the following then the group c you can see you have science courses home economics and then performance arts as well then you have languages in the group d as well as other electives in uh, general arts now for the home, home economic student they're also doing four course subjects a minimum of two and a maximum of four subject each student must do home economics then you either choose biology design and communication technology then physical education and agriculture so it means that you must do one two or three of the following so if you choose to do one it means the rest will be coming from the side and then the side as well then the arts Four course subjects as well. They are doing a minimum of two and then maximum of four at the side. So it's compulsory that every learner must do arts and design foundation. Then they choose one, two, or three from here. Then they come to the group C. Assuming you choose two, come to the group C, you add one to it, or if you want to add one from the general science electives as well. And students of agriculture who do general science, agriculture is compulsory. And they do one, two, or three of the following. Based on the number they choose over here, they will know if they are supposed to add some from the group C or group D. Then languages, your four core. Then you come to the languages, literature in English, Arabic, French, and the Ghanaian languages. So you have a minimum of one and a maximum of three to choose. Then you can either add one or two of these, knowing that your maximum number of electives should be nine and minimum of seven. Now for the STEM schools, this is just designated for STEM schools. So STEM schools, all STEM schools offer three core with um, physical education not being examinable. Yes, I'm not including the physical education because you are not going to be examined on it and it's not even required for your tertiary education. It's not, but you know, the knowledge is very important to help you in life. So each learner must do four of the subjects below one or two from here and then two or three from here they can also choose from the group c or the group d as well and if they have issues they can also do intervention english and intervention mathematics so if you have any question kindly comment in the comment section